Picture this. A runaway trolley is headed down the tracks. Five unsuspecting workers are in its path, and they're in grave danger. But wait, you have a choice to make. There's a lever beside you that can divert the trolley onto another track, saving those five lives. However, on that track is another worker who would be in harm's way if you pull the lever. This perplexing scenario is at the heart of the trolley problem, a captivating thought experiment in ethics. What do you do? Sacrifice one person to save five, or let fate run its course? As you grapple with this moral conundrum, you're exploring a branch of philosophy known as consequentialism. It's about weighing the outcomes of our actions to determine what's right. Should you prioritize the greater good, even if it means actively causing harm? Now, let's twist the plot. Imagine you're not by a lever, but on a bridge over the tracks. There's a hefty stranger beside you. Pushing them off the bridge would stop the trolley and save the five workers. Would you physically intervene to achieve the same outcome? The trolley problem doesn't just tease your ethical compass. It dives into the complexities of moral decision-making. As you navigate between action and inaction, you're treading through the territory of deontology, a philosophy centered on principles and duties. Is it our duty not to harm, even if it means more people will suffer? This puzzling scenario leaves us with no easy answers. It challenges us to examine our values, question our intuitions, and ponder the moral landscape that guides our choices. Whether you choose to pull the lever, push the stranger, or let events unfold, the trolley problem leaves us contemplating the shades of morality that color our world. So, the next time you find yourself pondering this perplexing puzzle, remember that philosophy loves to present life's ethical dilemmas in ways that can seem as intricate as they are entertaining.